his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear James Borrego coaching his team during the break. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Kevin, he's trying to keep him focused. Thank you, David. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt me. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. MB finds Robinson. Points are an absolute must here. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't mm -hmm. seem like he's Washington. lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. New York calls timeout. They're up by two. 23 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And Randall has got the ball here for New York. A two-point game. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's right. No other option but to foul and pussy misses. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And for Derrick Rose, the question will be how much of his MVP level of play from 2011 can he recover? You'd love to see him return to that point. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Charlotte calls timeout. They trail by four. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. Pass to Rogier, fires the three. The Hornets keeping it alive. The new 14. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Hands the three! Oh! And guys, with multiple game winners on his resume, Hayward is dependable in those late-game situations. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. From deep, off the mark. So it's New York picking up the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation.